What's up guys? So on this Shoki Power Rangers review, we're going to take a look at another legacy figure. And it is of course the new limited edition. Limited. Black Ranger. I didn't say it that way, but I did. <laughs> so for form, of course, picked these up at Walgreens. Now I'd gotten the Red Ranger just completely randomly. It was the only thing I'd found that entire day. I grabbed the Yellow Ranger, somewhat at random, at a totally different Walgreens on another day. I went to my local Walgreens, and I found the rest of them. In fact, I, they had all of them. So realistically, if I'd waited like another week, I would have had pretty much everything all at once. So, of course, we have the Black Ranger in his special packaging. We have Black Lightning. I don't know how that really necessarily works, but I like that they went with kind of a whitish-gray color instead of doing the obligatory, like, purple and calling it black. Of course, we got him here in the plastic prison of knee breakage. And we have the specific weapon for the Ranger, which is the draw of the new limited edition things. Not to mention the somewhat metallic nature of the thing. You have an image right here of said Black Ranger. That could be Zack, that could be Adam. We don't know. We got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo here. We got Saban's Power Rangers logo up there. So because difference. Come from this side and you just see this side and kind of his booty. Come to the top, you have an upside down Power Rangers logo. Come to this side and you can just see him laying in there. And we come to the back, and you have the collect them alls. Well, now I do. I have collected them all. Now what, box? Now what? What? Okay, let's go ahead and get it open. Now, guys, before I go too much further, I wanted to point something out that seems different about this. He actually has the little plastic ties for holding in the hands. That's a little strange. The other ones have not had that so far. Maybe it's a first of the ones that will. I'll just go ahead and cut those out and then we'll look at them the rest of the way. Alright guys, so we've got the Black Ranger out of the packaging and it's like they truly just have different problems every single time. <laughs> Man, Bandai, what have you done? Um, yeah, I mean, I will say right off the bat, I think he looks the best. Like, as they go, I think the black looks the best. And yeah, he just he I dig him. I dig him a lot. Although I seem to be having issues with making sure he's posed correctly. I don't I don't know. That's not bad. That's really not bad. But then again, black is one of my favorite colors, so I guess it would make sense that I would probably like him more than the others. Um but just I, I'm having a hard time figuring out where exactly issues are. Because they're compound issues, and I'm trying to figure out where exactly they're making the mess happen. Like, <laughs> yeah, we have obvious knee issues because I can't seem to straighten out the legs without the knees wanting to bend. And yeah, but before before I get into the articulation and stuff like that, let's take a look at the obvious weapons because they are a thing. You have the banana gun. Clearly, I really wish they hadn't made these things out of translucent plastic. They should have just made it out of normal red plastic. Because it does just bend way too easy. Once again, hot water will probably suffice to straighten it out. And then just very quickly, like, jamming it in some ice water or something like that to make sure it stays. And it does plug in on the belt. A nice, heavily white painted belt. I say heavily because it's kind of splotchy. Just like so. Because they always had those. Always. Didn't use them all the time, but they always have. <sighs> I'm going to have to look at him next to the Red Ranger here in a second, but he doesn't look as bulky up top. Something looks wonky about the shoulder, doesn't it? Maybe there's just something not not happening there. Let me do the comparison. You guys let me know. Do his shoulders look a little dinky? Like, he should be filled out a little bit more? I, I don't know. Something, he, just, he looks different from the Red Ranger somehow. We'll, we'll, we'll compare here in a second on screen. But here, of course, is the main draw of this entire thing. The power axe, and it is a little bit bent, nothing terrible. It's probably the thickest single chunk of plastic in this entire you know, box or container. You do have the obligatory Mastodon emblem right there. Nice yellow painted edge. It's cast, I think, it's going to be cast in some kind of clear-ish plastic and then painted over to some degree. So it's got this metallic kind of gunmetal paint. you got the silver paint. you got the yellow paint. you got more silver paint down here on the cannon end. Because technically it does do cannon. So this whole thing would slide forward. And they even have this big tab here 
like it should combine but as far as we know it absolutely does not sadly they should have released a combining version even if you didn't have the sliding gimmick different two axes one to combine what not to combine whatever and you can hold it i think because i haven't tried yet i just assumed that you can somehow get it in the hand and once again these hands I don't know what they're meant to hold, but it seems like they have issues holding their own weapons, or at least trying to get them into the hand. That one's not too bad. He does single wield the axe fairly nicely. It looks a little small, like not not like way too small, but it looks almost more like hatchet. Like actually, you know what? I need to look up the image. I need to see if this blade is supposed to be silver or if it's supposed to be yellow. I'll look at that after the fact, and uh, maybe I'll pull it up. Hold on. See if I can pull it up on the screen right here, and we'll just compare, and we'll see whether or not it looks the same. Or, actually, let's, we can see if the scale is close. Because, I mean, realistically, I think it should just be a little bit bigger. Like, not much. Maybe like 1-2% bigger. And it is, actually, it is kind of held as a blaster. You can see the trigger right there and the handle. So, in reality, you should be able to hold it in blaster form, even though... He never once used it like this except in combined mode, which is fine. Now, I'm going to see if I can dual wield this guy effectively as the rifle mode, and he can. I honestly didn't expect it, although it does look rather guitarish, doesn't it? <laughs> it, it? This thing would have made a really incredible like bass guitar, and I bet somebody's done it. I'm going to look that up. If I found it, it'll be on the screen right now. But that's actually not bad. The axe was always one of my favorite weapons. Once again, Silver Ranger, or Silver Ranger, Black Ranger is pretty awesome in this aspect. What is going on down here? I just turned that foot so that I could pose it, and it just went in a completely different direction than I was anticipating. Just, he's rocking out. Yeah. We can do hip-hop keto with this guy. If he's, if he's Zach, he can do some hip-hop keto. I can't, honestly... Pose this guy properly for some strange reason. It probably has something to do. I was like, I'm literally just trying to get it into a position that it can get a good thumbnail here. Come on. Just stay. There. Okay, picture. There. Good. Whew. I didn't think that was going to happen. Now, let's go ahead and get the gun out of his hand. If I can, it's like wanting to hold on. It, for once, it's wanting to hold on really, really well. Once again, very nice little thing here. Why did you take my cannon? Okay. Whoa, that's disturbing looking. <laughs> yeah, you can accidentally really get some disturbing poses out of this guy. And honestly, uh, the, the, the same problems that exist on all the previous Rangers I've looked at so far exist on him. Although he has new problems. And it's... Um, totally different than the other ones so far so the head is nicely molded you guys have the silver gold eye as you should silver tusk white parts here on the trunk white going around the head looks really good silver mouthpiece as usual you can look up you can look down he can turn all the way around he can't do like a quizzical look it's not really on a ball joint though that would probably help a little bit you do have the chest chest diamonds as usual you get the ridiculous torso articulation and broken look there he can come down he can really really ab crunch so he's only got a four pack not a six pack oh six pack again all right now we come to the main problem with this particular one and it is the shoulder joints okay going around that's nice not to mention they look a little weird like i said we'll compare we'll compare it to the red ranger now i'm going to show this off on this side even though i sort of showed it a second ago shoulder Super tight ratchets. That's a super tight ratchet on translucent plastics. Can anybody answer me in the comments down below how that's going to end? <laughs> because if you know anything about it, you know exactly how this is eventually going to end. And God, I hope it doesn't happen on camera today. But that one is pretty good. Let's go to this side. That was a lot of effort, guys. 
I was being gentle, but pushing pretty hard. See if I can go another notch. That one went for once. Okay, so now he's at his most upper angle. Let's go ahead and turn that bicep. And oh my god, what's going on? The bicep just goes, and then the elbow, and then the wrist. The wrist is, I, honestly, I can't tell which direction the forearm is supposed to be facing because it's so tweaked from being in the packaging. So you do get the bicep rotation, you do get the double jointed elbow, although that top elbow joint doesn't do too much, he can do this. So this is his bicep curl. That almost looks natural. Almost. Also big paint smudge right there. Sad, sad face on me. And you do get the forearm rotation, which is fine, except for the fact that it's curved in a potentially opposite direction. Because you can see here, that should be the top of the wrist. So we turn it that way. Which looks okay for the most part. So sometimes it's just, okay, which direction is that supposed to go? Not to mention he has a very, yeah, it's funny because it's the diamond here makes it look a little funny. It, it almost like he has Popeye forms, like burp in for a second and then down to the wrist, no problem. Wrist is a little bit loose. Same kind of weird peg joint, so it's a double peg thingy. And then it articulates like so. Mind you, I haven't tried to push the shoulder down yet. Anybody want to guess why? The first joint was actually very soft. This next one doesn't appear to be so. Now I'm pushing inward and downward at the same time here. Oh, Jesus. Every time. All right, so I'm going to leave him at that angle. Okay, that particular angle is going to be where that shoulder lives from now on. What is it? What is it? What? Okay. We already did torso. So we do rotation as usual. Very nice painted belt buckle as usual. Nice morpher. Or buckler. I forgot what they call them <laughs> over in uh, the Sentai. I think it's called a buckler. Why does this torso want to be, like, just a little further back than normal? I mean, am I crazy? Is that what I want to do? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Legs come forward that far. Hits the thigh. Legs go back that far. They hits the butt. Can't really go anywhere. You got the very awkward diagonal thigh cutout, which breaks the mold and sculpt in such a strange manner. I like the way the girls did it. I mean, it might break the sculpt, but it doesn't look like he's wearing waders. <laughs> I don't understand. And then, of course, the double-jointed knees that are usually the faulty part of this particular thing. Which, honestly, they're a little, they're a little wonky. Let's go straight up and down. And the right leg, I think, is worse, but if you look at the knee directly, this knee is not exactly lined up with anything in particular. Um, yeah, I just... Same problem as always, and you can totally see through his pants, or his underwear. You can see through his underwear. Whoa, that's weird looking. Never mind. Alright, come down to the very awkward calf cutout, which something definitely off. Like, this one is definitely curved more than it should be. You can see that. Got a little bit more ankle happening on that side. Or maybe this one doesn't. No, this one's about right. This one is over curved. So that's going to have to be fixed. And you can tell it's definitely having an effect on what direction the foot is supposed to be facing. Uh, this is one of those cases of are the feet correct in the first place? And they must be. What just. Oh. They're, they're, they're the right feet, but something just wonky about it. I don't, I don't know. So they do rotate at your thigh, or your calf, I'm sorry, and your shin, that does like to rotate. We're going full on Saw 3. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of Saw videos lately. But you can see here the mold isn't quite lined up correctly. And it, this side is a lot more even. Something happened on this side. Don't know exactly what's going on there. But you do have the disc, the ratcheted disc hinge right here for the ankle. So you can tilt foot down and tilt foot up so broken ankle and then you get the like ball joint in the foot itself which immediately starts breaking up the sculpt there and this one is significantly worse <sighs> seriously bandai you need to change your packaging oh i forgot to do the splits he can jean claude very good very well he can do a very well jean claude or very good because grammar I, I guess. Okay. Well, let me put his banana gun away. So that's actually a pretty good pose there.
<laughs> All right, so let's try to bring in his fellow rangers. Back him up just a little bit, hoping he's going to stand. So here's her broken knee lit yellow ranger. Yeah, I haven't tried to fix them yet. I, I think what I'm going to do is try to fix them all at once, realistically. So let's bring her in and hope she can stand. That leg just makes it very difficult. The leg with the tiny feet makes it very difficult to kind of stand her in a pose. That's why I had her, like, crouching. And then bring in Mr. The Leader. Mr. The Leader, Red Ranger, here. That looks pretty good. Honestly, Black Ranger looks pretty decent at that point. Not gonna lie. I'm just looking around. Let me get a picture. Yeah. So there's the team so far. All right, so here's the first time we get to actually compare two sculpts. We finally have two of the guys. And I guess they're the same. I mean, from the everything below the neck is identical except for the actual morpher and obviously the paint. I just realized something. This guy has no ratchets at all in the shoulders. This guy has super tight ratchets in the shoulders. What? <laughs> what happened there? Why does one have ratchets and one just flat out doesn't? I don't get it. Now, I was saying the shoulders look a little wonky between them, but realistically, I don't think... Now that I look at them side by side, they both look wonky. Um, he seems to have straighter legs, realistically, than, than the, his buddy, the Red Ranger, who obviously has knee issues. So he's actually got the better set of legs from the knees up. The ankles are a little wonky in and of themselves, and the shoulder ratchets, which, why do they exist in one and not the other? I have no clue. But they're pretty good. And of course, you have one more male to look at, and that's going to be Billy. And of course, you have one more fe female to look at, and that's going to be Kimberly. Or, well, whoever filled in her shoes. Now, that knee is just scary. Facing the wrong way. Yeah. I have a sword. I have a sword. Now, if I can get it, if they ever do a metallic Green Ranger, I will get it. But of course, they didn't do the metallics version or whatever they called it. Um when the Green Ranger was still around. Now, I do know where I can get a White Ranger. doesn't necessarily fit with the limited editions, but hey, it's a White Ranger. Why not? Look, if you guys have enjoyed these whatsoever, make sure you give me a thumbs up on this video. If you haven't seen my entire Power Rangers Legacy playlist, go check that out. There's a whole lot of stuff going on over there, and even more coming. <sighs> and guys, let me know so far. Or just in general, what was your favorite color ranger from Mighty Morphin? Who was your favorite? Was it yellow, black, red, pink, blue, green, white, purple? There was no purple. Or was it Alpha 5 for no real reason? And as always, I want to thank my patrons. You guys are awesome. And I will catch you guys on the next review. Remember, as always, keep on morphing. <laughs> or nerding. Whatever. See you later, guys.